okay the next topic which we want to talk about is the integrity of log files so as we discussed that cloud trail once enabled uh, you know continuously keeps putting the log files into your s3 bucket but if you want to you know prove to any of the auditors that none of these log files have ever been changed which means none of the log files uh, have ever been deleted or modified or things like that how will you do that so cloud trail gives you a feature for that as well and that's what we are going to talk about now so how do you do that basically right so you want to find out that uh, if any of the log files have been tampered whether it any of the log files have been deleted or let's say it has been just modified some part of it has been modified and things like that so if any of such things has happened then then there is a problem basically uh, your auditor is not going to be happy right so the good the good situation would only be that nothing has changed right in order to uh, prove this or in order to check this cloud trail gives you uh, a facility to basically validate that your log files are there in shape in order to do this first thing what cloud trail does is when you uh, when you actually uh, when you are creating the cloud trail if you remember there was an option of log integrity and i had enabled it as yes so because of that what happens is cloud trail creates two folders right uh, so one folder would be called cloud trail after your account number it will be called cloud trail and there will be another folder called cloud trail digest right and what happens is uh, on an hourly basis cloud trail will deliver a small digest file uh, every uh, every on an on an hourly basis it will keep delivering in this particular folder right this digest file contains hash values of log files delivered and are signed by cloud trail so the values would be encrypted it's not that just somebody can go ahead and understand it and change things uh, in a very intelligent manner that's not possible so automatically these hash files these digest files get generated into cloud trail digest folder and we will use these um, um, these digest files to later on validate our validate the integrity okay so if you want to validate the uh, you know integrity what should you do just go to your aws cli and in your aws cli you will have to execute a command called validate logs so uh, it's part of cloud trail service so you'll have to write aws cloud trail validate logs and then you will have to uh, specify that which trail do you want to validate so for example if you see here if you go to your cloud trail this is one of the trail which you have created if you click on this you'll be able to get its arn as well unfortunately it is not showing me the arn here right so well guys you will have to write it on your own uh, you can always go and pick up uh, from the ARN documentation if you don't know how to write but it's basically cloud trail and within that what type of object it is or what type of entity it is it is trail slash trail name so here the trail name will come which is ki trail okay so you specify that and then you will have to give a start time you'll have to say like for example this trail was created let's say 100 days back right but you want to check from a particular time that from this time onwards whether everything uh, everything is fine or not till now right so you will specify the start time and of course in which region so you'll have to specify a region as well uh, we already talked that uh, we already talked that when you create a trail it gave an option whether you want it to apply to every region so what it does it actually like with the same name it creates a trail in every region so please understand in the uh, the the trail is actually a regional level object right if you see in this arn you see the region code is there so if my trail let's say ki trail is there in north virginia it will be us east one if it is there in some other region that respective region code needs to come here please understand that 
so uh, and now then of course you will specify that in which region you are operating if if you have already configured this while you are of course doing aws configure you don't have to specify this so uh, after doing this you press enter and you will be able to see the result so there could be different scenarios the first thing could be that okay if nobody has changed anything with you know with your log files you will get to see that how many digest files got checked how many log files got checked and everything is valid or not so you will get to see the result like this that yes everything uh, like 43 or 43 digest files are valid all the log files are valid there could be another scenario where let's say somebody has deleted a file right or deleted a log file so it will say that yes all the digest files are there available but then CloudTrail would be able to calculate and say that out of 31, let's say 30 files are valid, but one of the file is invalid because it's not there itself, right? Uh, there can be another scenario, right? Uh, that something has been uh, something has been modified, right? If something has been modified, then also you will get an error in the same way that how many files are valid and uh, which of the files are actually invalid good thing is that it is telling you that how many files were invalid it also tells you that you know what was the file which got modified right so it gives you the name of that file and it says invalid hash value doesn't match so which means something went wrong with this particular file something got modified and you are also able to see in the result that result was requested from what time to what time like what was the start time till current time probably and uh, the result was found but for a shorter period of time so that's why if you see result found it is a lesser or a smaller time range than the one requested for whereas if you see the other case where everything was okay there you will see that result requested for and result found both the things would be same right so basically nothing was broken and you are able to see that so this is a good thing i would request you this particular thing you can go ahead and try in your account right very simple just enable the cloud trail let the files get generated for some time after that go and just basically delete one of the one or two files from your uh, from your s3 bucket right the log files and then go ahead and run this validate logs and you will be able to see this uh, go to any particular thing in both the uh, Accounts or in both the folders, you can see CloudTrail Digest and CloudTrail. There are two folders created. If I go in the CloudTrail Digest, again the same folder structure for every region. And if we go to any particular region, let's say US East one, we would be able to again go year, month, and date. And then within that, we'll be able to see a digest file. Digest files are going to be very very small in size, as you as I told you, this is just 324 bytes, very small. So uh, I hope you get this particular thing uh, another small topic I told you while setting up the cloud trail you can choose whether you want to keep your files encrypted so the default thing is by default s3 server side encryption would be enabled so all the files which are getting delivered will be encrypted if you want you may choose to do uh, the encryption using any of your KMS keys you can specify that uh, the good thing to understand is uh, you know Whenever we talk about server-side encryption, please understand it is not your responsibility to encrypt and decrypt. You just send the data. While it is getting stored, encryption happens. And while you retrieve the data back, it, the data is decrypted and given to you. So it's not your headache or it's not your responsibility to do the encryption and decryption. right? So basically, uh, the file gets stored in S3. While it is stored, it is encrypted. When you retrieve it back, it gets in it gets decrypted and it is sent back to you that's the beauty right so it's not your responsibility as such so uh, in front of you in one of the demos i just went and went and downloaded uh, one of the log files and then we saw that you know we were just able to open it though when it was stored in the s3 bucket it was encrypted but i downloaded it and i got a plain copy of it a decrypted copy of it and i was able to see the files all right with that, uh, we will go ahead and uh, end this series of videos. Um, I hope you understood what CloudTrail is. We have covered a lot of topics uh, in this particular uh, series of tutorials. 
um, this can actually become a Udemy course, right? But no, I'm not going to put it on Udemy. Everything is just available here as always. Uh, you have um, it available on YouTube and it will be there available on YouTube always, right? As we talk. Uh, all right, guys, uh, we will end the video with this. Uh, I request you to please uh, go ahead and share this with your friends. If you like this, uh, share the playlist uh, link on your social platform so that others can also learn uh, CloudTrail from scratch. And it is very important that you also set up, you know, two, three AWS accounts, right, with your different email address and try to practice all of this so that you become confident. All right, guys, see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.